Good morning, modern steaders. I don't know if you can hear that. Listen, you hear the brook rushing? The rain gauge says we got over a half inch of rain last night. <laughs> I'm curious to see how the pad is, the area we're going to be building the barn on, and then the road. I wonder if any of that got washed out, if it's all still holding up good. Good morning, pork and chops. How was the rain last night? I see it filled up your food dish. You guys hungry for breakfast? I guess you are. I want to get the baby goats out with all the other goats, but the main pen's still pretty muddy, especially since all the rain last night. And the back pen that the baby goats and willow are in are a lot nicer. So I don't think... We're gonna, I know we're not going to let them out yet. I want this front pen to dry out more before we add more goats out here. Come on in, Hope. She's the first one out the door now. It always used to be Willow, and Hope used to be last. Hope, does that mean she's going to be the new herd boss? Huh, Hope? Are you the new herd boss? I hope so. I sure hope so, Hope. Yeah, you're going to be the new boss? The new queen? No, you don't get in the feeder. Hey, Willow, I think you lost your spot as the herd boss. Come on in, little P, Magnolia, little man. Good morning, little P, little man. Magnolia wants some of Mum's breakfast. Will she share? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Give you some of your morning herbs, Willow. I know, you don't care for them, but it helps you make more milk for your babies. Good morning, little P. You the instigator, huh? How about you, little man? How you doing this morning? Did you sleep good? Said give me some lovin's. I'll take some neck scratches. Yeah. Look at Magnolia. She's like, I want some of that food, Mom. I want some food, Mom. Give me some food or I'm gonna nibble on your ear. You just want the cuddles this morning, huh, little man? Yeah. You like them neck scratches, don't you? Little P's like, hey, I want all the attention. You are an attention hog. Yes, she sure is. You want all the attention, huh, little P? I know. What do you think you're doing there, little P? I know, you want the attention. Good morning, Magnolia. Alright. I'm gonna go open up the outside door for y'all. Anybody gonna come out? Huh? You girls coming out? What about you, little man? I see you, little P. You gonna come out? Good morning. Nope. Nobody else is coming out to join you. You gonna stay in? Oh my goodness. I'd love to stay there and just watch them all day. There's the crazy white chicken eating breakfast or trying to eat breakfast with the pigs. They don't want to share this morning by the looks of it.
<laughs> Look at that green grass. It's so beautiful. Man, it's crazy how quick everything can green up. So it's looking like it's gonna rain out again. So I can't fly the drone right now, but I need to move New York City. I was even able to get the ducks to go into New York City last night, so all the animals are locked up inside New York City. Go to New York City. To the sound of voices and of drums. Oh, I see the crazy white chicken down there, guys. She knows it's feeding time at NYC. Alright, let's feed the meat birds first. You guys ready to get out of some fresh pasture? Here we go, we'll take it slow. We make it all the way yet? Not quite. What do you think of that new grass, huh? Oh, you're not getting any of their feed, CWC. I will show you how the rest was on. We left the rocks in the night when the water stopped. We couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud. Good job, Tanner. Chase the crazy white chicken back in. Yeah, we left the rocks in the night when the water stopped. You get some nice lush green vegetation for a little while anyways. Wonder how long this spot will last them. If we'll get one or two weeks out of it. I got a text message saying they're gonna be coming tomorrow to finish leveling out the pad so I can pour the concrete slabs. We gotta go mark we're gonna be pouring the slab so they know what area to raise up a little bit more. So then we can level that off and hopefully sometime this week we can get a concrete truck here and get that poured. checking with a tape measure right here we want to make sure that the rectangle form that we're going to be pouring the slab on is square we want we don't want to have it out of square the area that they raise up and flatten off for us the slab that we're pouring is 16 by 30 it's going to be a monolithic slab or a floating slab so we had to get that staked out so they can bring in some more sand so we can rake it off get it nice and level then i can set up the form system was little p jealous that little man was on your lap <laughs> Uh, did she kick him off? Yeah. Watch her. If I tap another one, she doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, little P's like, hey, hey, that's my lap. Yeah. You're gonna hurt yourself because you're gonna fool it. Little P, you gotta learn to share the lap. Especially you're getting bigger. Yes. You gotta learn to share. But she doesn't, she wants to be up playing, but she wants to sit in my lap, so she's like, can't sit still. Look at her. 
She's got ADD for a goat. Come on, you come sit with me. <laughs> oh, little pee. You need to lay down. Sit. You want some more hay, Willow? I'm gonna get them some water. You can't have everything. You can't have meat and play. You have to either have meat and or play. You're gonna fall off, little P. Don't let her see that I'm paying attention to other people. Right? Did you see what Gina's doing? She's petting little man. And Maggie. And Magnolia. And Magnolia. Oh, you pigs look nice, fat, and happy. You like the fresh water I just gave you? Oh, I see you already put your feet in it and made it muddy. Are oh, you making a mud wallow? We've come to the conclusion that we've got too much mulch on our garlic for how wet it's been lately. And that's why this garlic is turning a little yellow. What did we put on it the other day? Uh, blood meal. We put blood meal on it, that's right. So I'm going to take most of it off, just leave a light layer for me. We decided we better take all the mulch off on all the garlic and let them get some air for a few days. It's pretty wet under there. I don't know why. It's not like we've had rain all since last fall. Nice. Stay up here. I think it's going to be too windy today to put the new greenhouse plastic on. Find the screw holes. We're going to use the hoop house to grow our tomatoes in. We've got some new greenhouse plastic we're going to put over it. I think today's a little bit too windy to put the new greenhouse plastic on, but now we're ready when it's not so breezy out. You think you need a fence around your garden? Yes. I've seen cats and dogs so far get in. You don't want them playing in your garden beds? No.
Did you reach? Awesome. Now your garden's protected from some animals at least. Oh, it's not gonna protect him from Figaro, but it might deter him for a second. It'll deter him for a little while. It'll keep the dogs out at least. It's looking so good. You making lasagna and as with asparagus. My heart goes deeper than my mind. Sees farther than my You bring in the chicken some weeds, yeah. they're gonna love you for it. And I love them for it. You can turn your weeds into eggs. Eggs for the Yeah. You guys liking the heat today? Oh, you don't have them? I thought you found some on the other They slowed up again. I'm okay with it. I don't know if it's just the springtime rush there. Gonna slow up now. I did move them this morning too. That could have messed with them. You didn't like my weeds? Guys, this way. Get her, put her, pop. Come on, guys. Come on, baby, come on. Hey, little pea. I'm gonna put your hay there. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, give me a treat now because I can't do my stuff with it in my hand. Swallow. You done? 
like strawberries? She says, I love strawberries. You ate all the strawberries. Gina, Gina gave them to you. She is. Love her. Love her. Hey, Mama Ann, come here. Come here. Come on. Come see me. Come on. Off my step, he said. Get off my step. That's my step. No, it's my step. I just let you use it. <laughs> he just did that to me earlier, too. He just kept having. Stop. Why are you being mean to me? Jeez, little pig. Oh my gosh. Jeez, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna end up hurting because like, I'm so surprised by it. You're gonna end up with bruises all on your legs. Well, I'm okay. How oh, little discouraged there's been something getting in in here eating some of our plants. They ate all the cauliflower and all the broccoli and one of the leaves off one of the pepper plants. Not sure what it is. The roots are starting to come through the soil blocks which is awesome. Big Roy, you're supposed to be protecting the plants out here. If there's any mice or chipmunks, you're supposed to get them. It's not for you, Pluto. It's not for you. Especially not for you. All that lasagna was delicious. I don't know if you guys make homemade lasagna or not, but you should try making one if you haven't had one in a while. We did forget to bring home some coleslaw or cabbage to make coleslaw with. That would have been good to go with it. But uh, that's the, besides the point. It was delicious, and you guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we appreciate you all being here. I love reading inspirational quotes. It's one of the things that keeps me going. And one of the ones I remember reading the other day was, failure in and of itself is not a bad thing. It's failing to learn from your mistakes or your failures that is inexcusable. Man, there is so much value when we fail. I wish there was a different name for it because we haven't failed until we give up. It's just a life lesson. It's just a redo. It's just, hey, that wasn't the right way. There's another way to do it. I got to tell myself that all the time so I don't beat up myself and get too down. Well, thanks for coming along on our journey list, guys. I hope you are having a great day. Whether this is the start to your day or the end of it, make it a good one. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, freedom.